use headphones for best experience. for a fantastic support. Hi, welcome to another video. Today I would like you to take another look in this uh, historical atlas from 1924 that I showed you a couple of times before. some maps in the very beginning of this atlas. The page is about um, showing um, ancient Greek, Greece. So there are some pages here you can see Greece. vicinity of Troy reference map of ancient Greece northern part Greek and Phoenician settlements Greece at the time of the war of Persia the Athenian Empire reference map of ancient Greece southern part Reference map of Attica, Greece, at the beginning of the Peloponnesian War. Macedonian Empire. Reference map of Asia Minor under the Greeks and Romans. Looking at these maps, I would like to talk a bit about uh, Heracles and uh, the twelve labors of Heracles and focus on the geography about these uh, myths, stories uh, because I find it very interesting when I read these uh, myths, when there's like a reference to a geographical point, sometimes they're just mythical and you don't know where they are located, but um, quite often you, you can find the place on a map. Let's start with this map showing this southern part of Greece, um, the um, Peloponnesian Peninsula. And I'll zoom in a bit. show you is actually outside the frame of this map, but um, here somewhere, here's Delphi, very important place in Greek myths. But here in Boeotia we have um, the capital city, yeah here it is, it was 
on the on the map tips um, where I guess uh, Her Heracles was born and raised partly there's Megaris and Megara I don't know actually what this name comes from but I know that Heracles first um, wife was her name was Megara can you read this text or should I zoom in a bit more perhaps see here Thebes and Megara Heracles had to go to Tyrants here in Argolis and serve King Evristus for twelve years, I think. And um, do these uh, incredible tasks that uh, King Evristus um, made up for him, impossible tasks that he never thought he would make, but um, since Heracles was the greatest hero of all time, he managed to fulfill all this. Tyrants was very close to Argos and um, also Mycenae. I think they were all. Yeah, they were all located in Argolis. And he was king. I know he was king of Tyrants, uh, Eurystheus, but um, I guess he was king of all over this area. And the first labor that Eurystheus gave Heracles was um, to slay the Nemean lion. So then we have to find Nemea. And it's actually located not in the Argolis uh, province, but uh, very close to the border here. Nemea. It's actually in Corinth. this province here, north of Argolis. So we had to go to Nemea and um, slay the lion, the giant lion that um, is said to have been thrown down from the moon, or actually I read somewhere that it was the offspring of Zeus and uh, Selene, um, the goddess of the moon. And I also read that uh, this lion, when it um, fell to the earth, it started to plague the district of Nemea here. So, um, Heracles task was to to kill it. It, it it had a very thick hide and it was impossible to pierce by metal weapons so he had to find a way to do this and uh, he, then he took one of the lion's own claws to skin its hide And ever after that, he took this hide and um, used it as an armor. So that was the creation of Heracles' iconic armor, the lion hide. And um, the second labor for Heracles was to slay the Hydra, 
that lived in the lake of uh, near the lake of Lerna, also called the Lernian Hydra. It wasn't t too far away from Tyrants either. So the lake Lerna. be here, yeah. Here it says Lerna. Very close to Argos. So it was like a uh, marshes here, swamps, this landscape, and here lived the nine-headed Hydra. Water serpent, and uh, Heracles got help from uh, Iolaus to slay this monster, and because of that, uh, Eurystheus didn't count this as one of the. Originally, it was supposed to be ten labors, but uh, turned out twelve because of this was one of those who he doesn't. He didn't want to count because he got assistance from Eulaus. And um, also an important event that happened was when uh, the last immortal head was... Um, I don't think he could really kill it because it was immortal, but it was cut off and buried. Before he buried it, he um, dipped the, his arrows in the poison in its, uh, from its uh, tongue or mouth. So, and uh, that was uh, played an important role in the, all the other labors and uh, the rest of the life for Heracles. What happened here by the lake Lerna? So the third um, third labor was to capture the um, uh, Cyrenaean hind or Cyrenaean hind. I think it's in Greek. It's often pronounced with K. What is in English pronounced with S? So I think you can decide for yourself if you want to pronounce it with K or S. But uh, let's just choose K in this case. So the Cyrenaean hind. Cyrenaea is located, uh, let's see, in Achaea. This district here, the northern part of Peloponnese. And let's see if we can find it on this map. Could it be this one? No. So this hind was actually really fast because it had uh, golden antl antlers and hooves of bronze and it was uh, sacred to Ar Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. It was really difficult, impossible to capture because it ran faster than arrows also. So we had to chase it for over a year, I think, all over Greece, before it got tired and finally he could capture it. So this adventure didn't take place here. It, not only here, because but but it, this is what it, it was called, this uh, hind. 
Kiranayan height. And I guess this is where he looked for it and found it the first time. I think they, they um, he chased it uh, far to the north, maybe, because I've heard in one version of the myth that that, um, that uh, they uh, they were in a, a landscape with a lot of snow, for example, after a while. So probably they chased this hind to the north. was to bring back the Erymantian boar. So, Erymantia was actually uh, located also on Peloponnese Peninsula. Um, Mount Erymantos, the highlands of the western part of Arcadia. So we should find it here somewhere. Here. Mount Erymantos. So here there were um there was a wild large super dangerous creature a boar and um, yeah of course Heracles managed to capture it and um, return it to tyrants and king every steps could be, I'm not sure, but it could be after this adventure that uh, Tyrus, uh, that uh, Eurystheus got so scared when he saw the the boar that was still alive. So he uh, jumped into a, a very large pot of copper. Took shelter from the this, uh, this uh, large creature and um, then we move on to the fifth labor and that was actually something that Eurystheus thought would be very humiliating for the big hero so he said that um, Heracles should um, clean a stable, the stable of a king, King Augeas, Au Augeas, King of Elis. So here, we have the province Elis, still in Peloponnese. And here we have the city Ilis. And uh, these tables had not been cleaned in over 30 years. And um, King uh, Ogias had uh, over 3,000 cattle lived there. And uh, yeah, of course, it smelled a lot. And it was very difficult to clean this stable. And um, also he had to do it in only one day. So also it seems like a possible task. But what he did was that um, he rerouted two rivers. One of the rivers was... Um, so he was he like dug 
something else. Somehow, so this river, the Alpheus River, and um, this the Peneus River, somehow was rerouted, and um, the water ran right through this stable in Elis and clean it in just seconds, I guess. So he managed to complete that mission. The sixth labor was to slay the Stymphalian birds. See where Stymphalia is located. It's still in uh, Peloponnese, this uh, peninsula here. Um, here, Stymphalos. And these I read were the pets of Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. But they were really monster birds. They had beaks of bronze and sharp metallic feathers and poisonous dung. And uh, really had to watch out for those feathers if because if they like dropped a feather on you it were made of really sharp metal, like knives. And um, they dwelled here in a swamp, in marshlands here somewhere, in northeast Arcadia. Labors. He got uh, Heracles got help from gods and goddesses. So this time he got help from Athena, who gave him a rattle um, when he, sh he shook the rattle. Somehow managed to to kill these some of these. Uh, dangerous birds, and uh, those he didn't manage to kill, they escaped somewhere. So he had completed this labor as well. Now to the seventh labor. And now for the first time we will move away, away from Peloponnese. and go to Crete. This island, south of mainland Greece and Peloponnese. Here you can see the whole island. And here he had to capture the Cretan bull. And I actually don't remember so much from this um, adventure. Only that uh, King Minus somehow was uh, part of it. He was still king here. King Minus, the first king of Crete. He who had this uh, monster Minotaur in a labyrinth. But that's another myth and another story. And 
I think it's time to change to another page now because the rest of the labors are taking place much uh, far, uh, far farther away from from Argolis and Tyrants. Minor here, today Turkey, western coast of Turkey, and um, the Propontis and Black Sea, Pontus Exinus. So we had to go to Thrace this time. So all the way from Tyrant here somewhere. of King Diomedes, Diomedes. He was a barbaric king, son of Ares, and um, he got some help with this um, this uh, mission as well. He had some companion, and one of them was called um, Abderus. And um, these mares, I think in some versions there were four horses. Um, they were really dangerous because they um, had been trained to eat uh, meat from humans. They were man eating horses. And. Uh, And with help from his companions, uh, from Abaturus, he managed to to capture them and um, steal them from Diomedes, and uh, also tame them. But first, there happened a lot of things here. So eventually, unfortunately, Abaturus was eaten by one of these uh, horses and then um, after that Heracles uh, fed another horse with uh, Diomedes the king as a revenge um, but then also Heracles founded a city and named it after Abderus so that's Abdera in Thrace, near the uh, Abdera's tomb here. So let's see if we can find it. Uh, here, Abdera. So I guess here is where this adventure took place in Thrace. Here, just by the coast. Of Hippolyta. 
Abuelita was the queen of the Amazons, and she had a magic girdle that gave her a lot of power. So the Amazons were women that were warriors and had a queendom to the east. So he had to travel here through um, what is this called? Forgot it now. The Hellas Pond through the. and their country. Here's a more detailed map of Anatolia. Here you can see Thrace, Hellespont, Propontis, Bosporus and the southern part of Pontus Euxinus, the Black Sea. And um, the home of the Amazons was located um, by the river Tem Temiskira. the region Pontus and here you can see Temiskira the legendary capital of the Amazons okay so the city was called Temiskira and uh, the river that was floating through the city was called Thermod the Thermodon River. As you can see here. So first uh, there were there were um, peace between them and um, uh, Hippolyta wanted to give Heracles this magic girdle but um, then there were some misunderstanding in the groups and because of Hera, Hera always wanted to make it difficult for Heracles to complete these uh, labors so yeah there were a lot of misunderstanding and um, unfortunately Heracles killed Hippolyta uh, and uh, just took the ma magic girdle and sailed away home again or to Aristides so he had completed the mission Mm. 
now to the tenth labor. Heracles had to obtain the cattle of the monster Gerion, and now he had to travel to the west. So let's take a look at this map, where you can see the entire Mediterranean Sea. And also Asia Minor and Greece. So, Gerion was a giant, a monster, living on the island Erythea. And uh, Erythea was also one of the three. I read somewhere that they were three. I also heard they were four, but anyway, the Hesper Hesperides. Um, Hesperides means um, actually night, or they represent night and evening and uh, the evening star, Venus. Planet Venus, that was uh, sometimes called the evening star because you could see it in the evening. So they represent the west, the westernmost part of the known world by the ancient Greeks. Their world stopped here, somewhere the Atlantic coast, I mean their world ended here. Um, so Heracles had to find this island, Erythea, where uh, the cattle of uh, Gerion was, suppo or was supposed to be found. And um, now let's see, where's Libya? This is, it should be here. Yeah. Libyan desert, it says here. So he had to walk a lot this time. He walked through the desert and actually got so mad at the sun in the desert, so he shot an arrow against it. The sun was actually a god as well, Helios, the sun god. But instead of being uh, angry at Heracles, he got uh, impressed by his courage. So he actually let him borrow, let Heracles borrow his uh, chariot and travel to the very west also. Heracles could borrow the pole in which uh, Helios, after he had finished um, uh, traveling across the whole world, the Greek world, during the day, carrying the sun like this from the very east, that I guess Colchis was supposed to be the very eastern part of the world. From Colchis in the morning, the east. Actually, I read that uh, recently. I read that um, Anatolia or uh, Anatoli means uh, east in Greek, at least in ancient Greek language. So this was the very east of the world, according to them. And um, yeah traveled like this, Helios, during the day, and here we had the sunset, so his uh, chariot uh, hit the water somehow, and 
Then he traveled during the night in a very comfortable bowl back to the east. But this bowl now Heracles could borrow to reach this uh, very, very m uh, westernmost part of the world called Erythea, an island, where he found the most Aegean and uh, his cattle. And this cattle uh, was stained red by the light of the sunset. And the, the location I read somewhere was uh, Cadeira, also called Cadiz, in this part of today Spain, the Iberian Peninsula. the province Tar Tarshish and also the pillars of Her Hercules and something to do with this myth as well like he raised two pillars here at this very narrow strait Gibraltar strait But of course, he managed to kill the monster and um, and uh, bring the cattle to King every steps. Then we have the eleventh labor, and that was to steal the apples of the Hesperides. I've already talked about the Hesperides in the last labor, and so yeah, he had to go back again to this part of the world. Yeah, and also Hes Hesper, Hesperus, the evening star, um, as is actually the root for the for the word west. So. Hesperus was was actually the evening star, Venus, and um, his daughter Hesperis had um, had these daughters, the Hesper Hesperides. Uh, they have almost the same name, everyone. Um, and um, in Latin, this uh, word was called Vesper, and then it became West in English. So this myth has a lot to do with the direction west, the geographical direction to the west. Um, and yeah, here also we have the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, Morocco that played a role in this myth too. The Atlas that had the Titan that had to hold up the whole uh, sky on his shoulders. Uh, in some m in some version of this myth, Atlas is uh, part of it, but in some in some versions I read, uh, he's not present. So. Um, but anyway, they were the Hesperides. These uh, four women were nymphs, uh, nymphs of the west, nymphs of the evening, daughters of the evening. Um, also called the Atlantides, yeah, so they were connected here to the Atlantic Ocean. They um, um, should guard guard the these apples. It was Hera's apples, actually, that he, she got in a wedding present, the golden apples. Um, but uh, Hera didn't trust them at some point, so then she sent a dragon to like uh, guard the apples for her and this dragon Heracles had to somehow fight but I think what he did was that he managed to have him fall asleep with either 
music or wine? I, read, I think I read two different versions. So he could have the apples and bring them back to Aristos. And now to the twelfth and last labor, Heracles. So, then I guess Aristus really wanted to give an impossible task for Heracles that was to capture and bring back Kerberos the dog who guarded the gates to the underworld a three-headed dog so to get to the underworld and back was uh, something that no one had done before I guess And there were actually, in Greek mythology, there were a couple of entrances to the underworld mentioned. So before I go on, I would like to show you the geographical locations of these entrances. First we have some rivers that were supposed to lead to the underworld, called uh, Kokytos, Lethe. Legaton and Styx, but I haven't found these rivers. I, don't, I think they're just uh, mythical. You can't find their river on a map. But then we have also the river Achiron in, in um, Epirus. Here we have Epirus and um, it's, yeah, it's to the northwest of Greece. So, if we take a look, I think there was a map of um, the northern parts of Greece here. Ancient uh, Greece, northern part. So, here we have Epirus. Try to find the river Achiron here. So through the Achiron River, I think Odysseus uh, managed to enter the underworld in a myth. Also, we have the Lerna Lake. before where Her Heracles at, the, at his second labor managed to to kill the Hydra uh, here actually an entrance to the underworld was supposed to be located Then we have a gate called the Plutus Gate in um, Anatolia. Um, and this should be located in Hierapolis near Laodicea or Laodicea and there were some hot springs here I read so to find this I think we should move to this map that shows uh, Anatolia in detail or Asia Minor as it says here So, 
here you can see the loud IKEA or Laodicea uh, and somewhere here the ancient um, city Hierapolis should be located and that was supposed to be Pluto's gate to the underworld Then we have a myth about Hades and um, per uh, Persephone It's a bit annoying with the shadow here now, don't you think? daughter Persephone to be his queen in the underworld that myth it said that this kidnapping took place on the island Sicily so here somewhere it was an entrance to the underworld Then we have the last one that I heard about at least that was actually on the island of uh, Peloponnese so you could enter the, the underworld from here as well and uh, then I read that it was on this um, peninsula here at the very tip of this peninsula between the Gulf of Messenia and the Gulf of Laconia we have this um, Cape uh, Tanarum it's called something else I read another name for it somewhere. Not sure I can find it now. Yeah, Cape Matapan also Matapan. But here it says Tanarum Promontory. And um, this was actually supposed to be the entrance to the underworld in some myths. Or one of the entrances. And um, for example in the myths of uh, Orpheus and uh, Eurydice and also this was actually the place where Heracles went to to um, capture and bring back Kerberos And uh, yeah, he actually managed to do this as well. Uh, and the queen, Persephone, uh, she let her, him just take the dog if he could, on using only his hands. like tame him so he could and he could do that so he brought the dog back the tyrants and um, back again to the underworld but with that the 12 uh, labors were completed and Heracles was free
video. Relaxing. And I hope you have fallen asleep or are about to fall asleep very soon. Uh, thank you so much for watching and See you next time.